So when we install a new system, we need to make sure that we charge the refrigerant correctly. And that's all based on line set length and size of line set. So in this case, we, again, we've got our heat pump here. It's currently running and heating. And if we look, our line set goes up the wall into the attic and into our air handler. From the evaporator coil to the outdoor unit, we've got 56 feet. And I know based on my manual that this unit comes charged for 10 feet of line set. So I need to add refrigerant for an additional 46 feet of line set. So I can hook my gauges up, I can hook my refrigerant tank up, and I can start adding six to eight ounces at a time and I can get my subcooling. And in this case, I believe my subcooling tells me I need to be at 10. I can add my refrigerant, like I said, eight ounces at a time until I get to 10 degrees of subcooling. Or I can measure the line set length, do some math, and know that the additional 46 feet of line set times 0.6 ounces tells me that I need almost 28 ounces of refrigerant for the additional line set length. So instead of fumbling and figuring out subcooling, I'm gonna add 28 ounces and boom, I'm done. I don't have to sit here. It doesn't take me an hour to charge the system and I know that I'm good.